Hello, everybody. Welcome to another tutorial from sound for more It's Leo speaking. Well, I'm very excited today because uh, a new release of Drumbo has been uh, made available on the App Store, and there are a lot of new functionality, which is really, really good to explore. So let's start today looking at now, finally, um, how to record uh, MIDI from your audio uh, unit MIDI processor. So really exciting. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So I've just loaded Drumbo as a standalone version. So I'm going to move the MIDI to CV to the right hand side to reveal the um, plus sign. So I can add some racks here. And um, I'm going to the um, MIDI section or category. And I'm going to add an audio MIDI um, processor, like so. You can see there is a rack button, a recording button now. Let's click on the plus sign and let's find something like, why not? Uh, let's use scalar control 2. Let's wait that that loads up. So let's um, open this up a little bit more. Let's go to songs and let's choose something like the 82 and select these codes, move it to the section C, uh, set it to loop and um, enable performance. And I have a full set uh, of tutorial that explain how to use uh, scalar control. Now, um, let's uh, change the number of voices to something to six and then let's add as a generator, why not the FM operator change a little bit the feedback um, like so but you can add any other instrument as uh, you like so let's um now um remove this one to have give a little bit of space here um to the clip and then let's click recording there and now let's uh, change the number of measure here Let's go to five, so we make sure that we record the four bars, so we can still remove the fifth one as well. And let's click uh, play, and record the, the recording is enabled. Okay, so that last one is, of course, for repetition, so you can also delete that. And uh, now let's remove uh, that um, audio unit MIDI processor. And now let's click play again. As you can see, you have now recorded directly from that uh, audio unit MIDI processor. And as you can see, you have nice recording here for uh, everything that um, came out from that uh, audio unit MIDI processor. Really, really nice, straightforward, nice, simple tutorial. I just wanted to show it to you straight away. Really great addition. Thank you very much, Beep Street. Now we can record directly from audio unit MIDI processor. Okay, see you next time. Thank you. Bye.